Hi everyone, my name is Wang Liang, the Aragon watch designer. A few weeks ago, we released the Aragon Dive Master 4th generation and uh, many of you have received the watch and, and are loving the new timepiece. And today we're going to talk about the Aragon Dive Master 4th with the automatic chronograph Seiko NE88. Now, what a fantastic movement. And today we're going to go through uh, a few things uh, we're going to talk about. First of all, we're going to talk about the specs. And secondly, I'm going to talk about the movement briefly. And the last thing I want to talk about is, uh, you know, the comparison of um, with the Valgi 7750 and the ETA 2894. Um, so let's come in and we'll talk about the Dive Master 4 NE88 automatic chronograph. So first of all, we are, we are having four colors. And these are limited edition and two sizes. We have the 45 and the 50 millimeter. And each one is 50, 50, so total of 400 units. Okay. And the colors are black, blue, brown, and white. On the bezel, these are ceramic bezel. Okay. So many people ask what material is being used on the bezel. And the next thing is a sapphire crystal with anti reflective coating. It's six layers of anti-reflective coating. The movement is SII NE88 with 34 joules. And this movement is one of the very few automatic chronograph in the industry, in the watch industry. Um, also, the movement thickness is pretty well made. I have to say it's like a tank. Okay, if you love large chunky watches this is the one uh, which i also love a lot so the thickness for the 45 is about 18.5 and the thickness for the 50 is 19 millimeter it's slightly thicker than the 45 and the movement is fully decorated with exhibition case back let me show it to you love the movement you see how the bubble solid case back i love the shape of it okay it's a little bit like a uh, domed Okay, very nice. The rotor is fully decorated. Um, so, also I wanna talk about is, um, if you're gonna order the black, the blue, and the brown, the white loom glows blue on the bezel, okay? And the hands and the R index is green, glows green. But if you're gonna order the white, okay? So it's green loom, glows green on the bezel, our index and the hands are green glows green. The dial is white glows blue, so which is very, very cool. And this is gonna be, for the first time, we're gonna do something really crazy, and I, I highly encourage you, take this opportunity, because the price is gonna go insane. And I want everybody, if you have not owned an automatic chronograph, okay, number one, number two is, the SII NE88 ever before, the price will be shocking to you, okay? Take this opportunity because this movement is very high quality. Now, another thing I must mention, and I guarantee a lot of people are gonna call us, email us, message us and say, the pushers are not working, okay? So let me explain to you. This is the first time also for us to use screw down pusher okay so in order for this to be activated you have to unscrew you see how it comes up both the start and the reset okay so i'm going to activate it automatic chronograph stop it and reset very nice right so um 200 meters water resistance solid stainless steel bracelet five millimeter thick, and the clasp is also solid deploying clasp. Uh, full loom on the crown, glows green with every single one of them. So I think you're gonna love it. With a 45 millimeter, the bracelet is four millimeter, okay? So we're trying to reduce the weight for a smaller watch. But I just love the chunkiness of this watch. I, you, I, I know I'm gonna get a lot of pushback. People are gonna say like, Wing, why do you build a watch so thick? First of all, the movement is thick. Okay, and secondly, I love to build a watch. It feels strong, it feels solid. And the, another reason why is majority, if you look at the profile, 
we're building the watch correctly. If you look at the profile of the case, it's pretty thin, it's about nine millimeter. We put most of the thickness on the bezel and the case back, okay? So solid first end link, and this is how we love to build our watches. I know we know how to build a thin watch. If you want a thin watch, go to the Dive Master 42, which is 14 and a half millimeter. We've done watches in variety of sizes and varieties. Uh, uh, you know, of thickness. So we've, we've also built watches as thick as 25 millimeter as well, and as large as 55 millimeter. So the next thing I want to talk about is the movement. Okay, it's the NE88 from SI, which is very, very rare. I guarantee you, you don't see a lot of this watch. Uh, a lot of watches with this movement out there. And why this is so special is because this movement, okay, has vertical clutch, the center column wheel, a three, pointed hammer and a high-end spring hairspring for the balance wheel okay this is not in every you know in any other movement from the Seiko uh, mechanical movement so these are very important so I know you're gonna ask like why what is the vertical clutch and um, what is the center column wheel okay so now when I kick start the watch meaning when I kick start the chronograph you press and the chrono second hand moves very smoothly. That's what it does with the, um, the vertical clutch and the um, column, center column wheel. And what is the three pointed hammer, okay? So when I press the reset button, everything goes back to zero position, which is the center position. That's what we call it. Uh, and then what about the hairspring? What is that that I was talking about? This hairspring is, uh, is is a high end as usually Seiko only put them in their, you know, the higher level mechanical movement. So they're not in every single movement. Most of them you will see the Seiko brand with this same hairspring. Okay, now the last point I wanna point out is, I know many people will be saying, why is this watch so expensive? You know, because we also have the NE88 in the Regeneron uh, with the Parma, uh, and then the price point was a lot higher and then people were saying like because always people thought swiss is the prime and and they always look at the japanese or the chinese are not as expensive but i tell you this movement is expensive as the value 7750 and the and the production uh, speed is close to one year okay i'm going to get in a lot of trouble by selling this price for i only doing this for the Dive Master 4 because I know a lot of people have not owned an, you know, a, 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 an automatic chronograph and also the NE88. I, so I'm just gonna do this for all of you guys to try out and test out the, our Dive Master 4 and test out the NE88. And I guarantee you, you're gonna fall in love with this movement. And I, every time when I see someone make a comment about why this watch, a, a Japanese automatic chronograph is so expensive, Okay, it, it, it makes a lot of sense because this watch has a lot of components and it takes a year to build. And people always look at uh, Japanese is not as, the quality is not as great as compared to the Swiss, which is, in my personal opinion, this movement is the same level as the uh, the Valjean 7750 and also the ATSA 2894. And matter of fact, the center uh, column wheel and the vertical clutch is not seen in the uh, Valtteri 7750. If anybody, you know, uh, understand this, and uh, please make a comments about this, uh, I might be incorrect. But as far as I know, this Seiko N88 is truly has uh, those two components. Um, so here we go. I hope you enjoyed the watch review, and I, um, um, you know, uh, was able to tell you some of the information you. Uh, my fun interest interesting um, and um, so this is going to be a great watch I love the design of this and I and we are continuing to develop the dive master collection and so um, thank you very much for uh, uh, tuning in and I will see you next time